Hi there, welcome to the 2023 update from Twisted Sage Studios. If you are watching today, happy solstice to you. Um, it's been a heck of a transformative year. As most of you know, I do usually do 50 questions Friday, sometimes weekly, and haven't for months through this deep integration. Um, you know, for those of you who have been following Twisted Sage and, and the videos here, um, you know, I've really talked about some of these transformations over the past years, but especially this year, um, just the openings that occurred this last March and, oh, all of the integrating of this new light within. And it was in June that we began to see uh, with the new chamber that we created, the, the sit-down chamber that has the large toruses that sit behind you and in front of you, and you sit in those uh, set of those large rings, um, this chamber that we created, this new light chamber, is one that we took to Connecticut, to the American Society of Dowsers Convention this last summer. That was the first place that I started to see people, when they stepped out of that chamber, that there was this golden light body either within their field or partly within their being. And what we have discovered since the end of June is, is that this golden light body is basically the culmination of your lifetimes brought into wisdom. So that's the work that we've been doing these past few years with the wisdom tools and the wisdom energetics is we have been and it's happening without the wisdom tools and the wisdom energetics. We just try to bring it with more grace and ease. But basically what has been happening through all the humanity that is that has stepped off the merry-go-round and are ready to truly step into, hmm, step out of the old. Because we're no longer in the old. Um, you know, everything has changed on this planet so much the past few years. But anyway, where we're seeing that we're at now is that we have, as humanity, has been integrating these lifetimes of experience and just experiences in general, soul aspects, um, everything that we are as a soul incarnate has been coming back home through and to us. And what this does is this accumulates into this golden light body that I see. And it can present differently to you, but um, it just presents as a golden golden body to me. And it's been really interesting because we have witnessed some pretty miraculous things working with that light body. But there's also a recent discovery here, something a little different that's been coming in. Um, so we see this golden light body as basically the culmination of all the wisdom of all of your incarnations, all your lifetimes and experiences, um, and even potential experiences that you never chose are all brought back in as wisdom. And so this golden light body is made up of your wisdom, your consciousness, as well as your soul. And, you know, perhaps you could say it's your higher self where your soul really your soul is just happy that you exist. It doesn't care whether you suffer or not, or if you're a sinner or you're a saint, or if you do something with your life or not. You know, because those are all just human judgments. But the soul is always rejoicing that you are in experience, because the human is the experiential part of the soul. But the point is, is that the soul doesn't always understand the human experience. I mean, I've, I've been writhing on the floor and, you know, um, feeling and knowing I was going to die. And the soul just stands there and just like, yeah, you got this. Um, versus this golden light body that has been coming in because it too has been a human. And it is made up of the wisdom of all those experiences as a human. And so when you work with this golden light body, it helps you transcend those experiences in your lifetime that no longer serve you, that do not bring you joy, that you're complete with, but yet still are on that merry-go-round. So today we're going to do a really special meditation. Um, 
in a quick update before we do that um, is we have, gosh, I didn't bring an infinity with me, but you know of the infinities like this one here that's in the center. This is one of our infinite hearts or our infinities, and we have them in both silver and copper. But what I want to share with you today is the energetic update to these particular infinities and to this particular new tool here. This is not the infinite light pendant, which is what's listed on the website at this very moment. But here later in the week, by the weekend, we will have this pendant listed as a new name and a new energy. So um, I would, I would uh, not run out and buy an infinite light pendant yet. We will have a new offering soon. And um, so this is not about the tools. This is about the space and the field. And that is what I'm going to share and walk with you all through today. Because this is really a next level experience. Um, it truly can change everything. So just to kind of give an overview of what this new energetic um, combination looks like is just... Um, we'll just disregard the ring and because we're just talking about the infinity, the infinite hearts that uh, we create. Now with the infinities, we recently redid the energetics. They used to be the golden fire, I believe. But now then with the infinities, the copper or the silver or even the infinity that's found within here, any of them that are coming out of the studio as of right now are in this new energetic. This energetic is that one part of the infinity connects to that crystal sun within the earth. That crystal sun within the earth, as you, if you've been following the meditations here, instead of taking that breath from the heart of the earth, we've been connecting in with that crystal sun. And um, I can talk more about Gaia and the crystal sun at another venture here. But we connect with that crystal sun of the earth and when we take that breath in is that trinity breath because again we do this in those three breaths and let's just step into the heart space right now so imagine within your heart is your light your soul's fire now imagining connecting heart to heart with that crystal sun within the earth that beautiful supportive energy taking that breath in of that light of the earth Breathing it up through the feet, into the heart, and just allowing that light, that energy of the earth, that heart of the earth to just envelop you. Every cell, in between every cell. And she is a powerful transformer and just ask for you to let go of anything. And she is happy to alchemize it for you, to transform it. The second breath in this Trinity breath is we connect heart to heart to you as Creator God, as soul, however you see and say this, breathing in that light of you into the heart and allowing that light of you to permeate every cell in between every cell and flow into your life. This third breath you become the conduit, the hollow bone, as the shaman would say, the bridge between heaven and earth. So this third breath, you breathe in that energy of the crystal sun of the earth, up through you, sending it to you as creator God, as soul, and breathing in the light of you, down through you, and connecting it with the crystal sun of the earth. So you become the flow between heaven and earth. This is a powerful space because it also brings you from the head back into the sacred space of the heart. So while you're in the sacred space of the heart, we can imagine this infinity, this infinity that comes from your heart and it goes down and connects to that crystal sun of the earth. And it comes back up through the heart to you as soul, to all that you are. And that flows back down through the heart again. 
And as you imagine that flow between heaven and earth, and you in that central point, within that central point is this beautiful, brilliant, soft, white light. This field that's sparkly, there's a little bit of blue to it, how it presents to me. Again, see it, feel it, however it presents and feels to you. I'm going to call it a soft white light, but I see it with sparkles and blue. But the soft white light that comes through is kind of like a working part of you. Again, when you work with your light, you can't direct it or have intended outcomes. It brings through the higher potentials and it clears and releases and brings to wisdom, to completion, any of the potentials in creation that no longer serve you. Again, we see miracles happen every moment that you just sit with this light. So as you are that infinity, that soft white light expands around you. Bring your awareness, you as the human, from the heart. Bring your heart-based awareness to something in your life. Maybe it's something in your physical body. Maybe it's reoccurring patterns or thoughts, a hardship, an emotional ache or pain, or physical. Just bring in your attention and your awareness to that space. That is you simply asking your light to move into that space. And as your light moves into that space without you trying to fix or heal, you're just sharing those dark recesses with your light. Your light goes through and just changes those things. We've witnessed some pretty amazing things. Everything from physical detox happening that you bring in your light and it changes it all. All that toxin that was being released in the body turns into something more beneficial to you. It turns into these sparkles is how I see it. And if you allow, it can go to the deepest recesses within your being, the darkest corners, and it can light it up with grace and ease and quickness. Instantly it can be. So kind of be in that space of, hmm, the, the word surrender may have some connotations, but it is a softening. And it is a surrender, but it's not giving away your power to anything, not even your light. It is allowing. So that is the best word we can use, is allowing. Allowing your light into those deepest, darkest recesses. And it begins to change them through all time, no matter where this issue came from, whatever lifetime or lifetimes of trauma, or maybe it's not even yours. Maybe it was handed down to you by ancestors. That is a majority of what we are is inherited, not truly ours. So just letting go of everything and allowing your light to transform it. All right, coming back to here again. So basically that meditation is basically how the energy runs within these infinities, not this particular piece with the circle around it, just the infinities themselves. So we will now move into another meditation. This one has to do with this particular pendant, which this form used to be called the infinite light pendant. We're actually looking for, waiting for the name to come through right now on this new pendant. So 
we're going to walk through the meditation of the energetics of this new silver pendant. Well, let's call it the Infinite Light 2.0 for now. This particular pendant, we do the same meditation as with the infinity, where we breathe in that energy of earth into the heart, the energy of creation into the heart, and then we see that loop, that infinity, that flows from creation through your heart down into that crystal sun of the earth, back up through the heart, and back up to, and when I say creation, I mean you, all that you are, creator and creation, bringing all of that wisdom and light into you, right into the heart, connecting that with the earth. So now imagine that that infinity, instead of that infinity connecting, we're going to imagine this infinity connecting in a different way. So imagining connecting your head, your mind to the earth. Just imagine that loop, that infinity connecting your mind to the heart of the earth. Taking in that deep breath, allowing that deep connection of mind to earth, to that crystal sun within the earth. A grounding of the mind. Now imagine connecting your body to your light. Your body connecting in this infinity loop that goes to your light, allowing your light within your body. Within this space, that blue, white, light, soft, sparkly being of you steps in fully, much more so than with that infinity meditation. This is a tangible you this sparkly, soft, white, radiant light. It is soft, but the most powerful thing for the uncreating of creation which no longer serves you. It is not really uncreating creation. It is bringing a particular creation or pattern to a close to bring the wisdom out of it and to set you up for something new in creation, which we will get to. So first, working with this soft white light that is you, inviting it into the body, inviting it into the mind, inviting it into your world, into all of your creation. This touches people, places, things, situations throughout all time. Everything that you have touched in creation as you, your light touches now. It smooths over lifetimes. completing and changing the things that did happen and bringing them into a higher potential of creation because we have been here throughout creation in these limited potentials of what we could experience, of what we could create and what we could be. And we are dissolving all of those lower potentials to allow higher potentials of creation to come in. Your lifetimes are malleable. All happens at once from the perspective of the soul. And that is the perspective that we take here. We step out of the limited perspectives of limitations, period. 
and we allow old patterns to dissolve away, old patterns, structures, beliefs, and all the energies held within there, the traumas, even the excitements and the joys and the splendors and the love, all of that too is brought in to its true essence, into wisdom, light, and consciousness for you. And as you allow that light to transform everything in your existence, you may note that a golden light being that is you begins to peek in. Sometimes I see it peeking into people's fields. Sometimes I see it stepping fully into the field. And sometimes I see this golden light body step within the human and fully step in. This new light body brings with it miracles because it brings with it these higher potentials in creation. It's not necessarily for you to choose, but ultimately we do. It's it's more of a softening of allowing of your soul light to bring these higher potentials to you. And then yes, in the moment of creation, you do choose, but you choose from a whole new set of tools, of potentials, of possibilities in creation instead of the old ones. You come into an argument, a fight with a loved one or a partner, and you're stepping in, instead of stepping in with this old stuff, the old ways of working with it, you step in with your light. And as you step in with your light, it changes all potential outcomes. And this is applicable to everything in your life all of creation is once that soft white light comes through and brings those old things into wisdom then that golden light body can truly step in and bring with it those higher potentials of creation and this isn't a doing or a trying this is you again a softening and an allowing. But then you also receive it. So you allow that soft white light to come through and to do what it does. That's the allowing. The receiving is you truly receiving your self-worth, your love from you and all of your higher potentials along with your soul. That is the receiving. And that is the expansion in joy and love and beauty and peace. You are the creator of this new world. It is you. Again, sit with this as much as possible. Take the time out every day to allow in your light in these ways. And again, if you run into anything in your world that's uncomfortable, stop and take a breath. Don't approach it with the old tools and patterns and energies and emotions. Don't approach it that way if you want it to really, truly change. If you truly want to see a shift, invite in and allow your light to step in for you. And again, you don't have to do this and direct your energy every time. 
truly, truly the way to really repattern all energy and creation is to just simply be allowing that light. And don't think, just allow your light to be a part of you. And your light knows what your deepest desires, your deepest joys, and the things that you wish to no longer participate with or experience. Your soul knows this. So if you soften and allow, allow that soft white light to go through and clear those old patterns, emotions, stuck energies. Then as your soul, as your golden light body steps in, again, it brings those new potentials in creation. So you don't have to do a thing, but just be soft, allow, and spend as much time as you can within that field. Oh, much love, my friends. We are stepping into a beautiful new slipstream of a year here in 2024. Keep your head out of the sand, but keep your focus within. The chaos that's going on in the world is not yours, but you can participate in helping to shift it by simply embodying your light and not worrying about anything out there. Just embody your light and your light will go to those things automatically. So just keep your wants and desires as the human perspective out and allow your light to come in. and bring the higher perspective and the wisdom to all of creation. Hmm. Much love, everyone. Good to see you again.